I'm Sarah Woodbury, and this is a not-so-quick trip to Bomaris Castle. This is Bomaris Castle, which my son has dubbed Stumpy because it was only built to the height of two stories and never finished. It was originally sited right after the 1282 war as, again, an attempt by Edward to control the populace, in this case on Anglesey. He relocated all the Welsh people in the little town of Sanfais, which was actually not a little town, it was the biggest town in North Wales, a thriving market town, and he removed the church that was here, the monastery, convent, and built this castle instead. He decided actually to build the castle in 1283, but then didn't, uh, building Carnarvon primarily instead, as well as a bunch of the other ones, Harleth, uh, Rith finishing Ridlin. And then in 1294, Bomaris itself was begun in response to a rebellion led by Madog ap Llewellyn. What you see here was built in only five years. The architect of this castle was the same as most of the Edwardian castles here in Wales, um, James St. George, and he spent an enormous amount of money on this castle until 1298 when Edward decided Scotland deserved more of his attention than Wales, plus the populace seemed much more subdued. He didn't feel like he needed this castle anymore. And work stopped for about eight years. And then there was some more work after 1306, but as you can see, it was never finished. Since prehistoric times, the Lavan Sands have been used as a road from North Wales to Anglesey. And this spot, Shan Weiss, before the conquest, was a thriving market and trade center for all of North Wales. Once the town was destroyed and Bomaris was built, Bomaris actually continued that tradition and as my guidebook says, if Carnarvon was the administrative capital of North Wales, of Edwards, North Wales, Barmaris was its trade center. Across the water here, the Manai Strait, is Aber, the seat, the royal seat of the Princes of Wales. And it guards this pathway from Shanvais to Aber. Before modern times and the dredging of this channel, the Levan Sands were, would surface every time the tide went out. You could cross it on foot if you were careful. At the very least, you could be ferried across this. And since prehistoric times, this, it was used as a roadway. The road continues past Aber up into the mountains to the Bulca de Vine, the ancient pathway that the Romans um, used also as a road, and it's been used for at least 3,000 years. All right, we should go inside, huh? Yep. I'm standing here inside a guard tower at Bomaris Castle. This little room is a guard room that overlooks the dock, so it could be supplied from the ocean directly here. In modern times, the Manai Strait has receded into the distance.
I'm standing here in the Southern Gatehouse at Pomares. There are two portcullises. One over here, you can see the slots, and then one on the opposite side. And these are murder holes, but they're a lot more than holes, where someone could be then trapped inside here and have boiling oil and fire dropped on them and then arrows fired. Key features to visit within the castle are the many passages within the walls, the numerous latrines, and the moat that encircles it. This is one of the cooler features of Bomar's castle. These are passages in the walls that run between the different towers so you can go from one tower to another without going outside or up onto the battlement. Darren. I know my son thinks I'm obsessed with latrines, but it is a really interesting thing. It's like something that nobody ever wanted to talk about is like where everybody went to the bathroom in a castle. And at Bomaris, the latrines are state of the art. So there's 16 latrines on the wall walk up above, 16 more on in the in this next level down, all with ventilation shafts, privacy, like everyone had their own cubicle. The waste would fall down towards the moat and then they'd flush it with um, by running the water from the moat through the walls and then back out again and out to the sea. So this whole elaborate system. Unfortunately, when the castle wasn't finished, it also wasn't maintained as well as it could have been. And so they have an, a letter to King Edward from the Castellan here um, after 1306. and. He basically is complaining, the whole letter is complaining about the latrines and how they're not, they're, way, they're dirty and it's not sanitary and, and it's like if you think about a castle like Dresselin had like two, two latrines. So it's a basically, it's something that is manageable. But with 32, that's a lot of work, that's a lot of people that have to be in there getting mucky and um, it ended up being not the wonderful state of the art thing that they thought it was going to be.
I'm standing in, well, below what would have been the Great Hall at Beaumaris. You can see the big stones there that would have supported the floor. And that's what would have been a fireplace with a passage behind it. And this would have run the whole length, fit for king, as uh, the designer intended, except like the rest of Beaumaris, it was never finished. Behind me is the field where David and William appeared having traveled from Earth 2 to Avalon in my book Champions of Time. Thanks for watching my video. You can click on the playlist or subscribe to my channel to see more. There'll be a new video next week. If you want to check out my books, click on the link to my webpage.